distinguished Senator Omer. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is uh, Senator Victor Omer, OFR. I represent the people of Anambra Central Senatorial District. Mr. President, I rise to support this very, very important motion brought by our brother, Senator Osti Zunaso. I want to say, Mr. President, that there is a wise saying that an unexamined life is not worth living. This country has proceeded with all manners of infractions without investigations being conducted on the affairs of some agencies of government and organizations which have tended to cripple this country. The issue of this foreign exchange backlog, which is the center of this motion, is but a small chip in the irregularities going on in the financial sector in Nigeria. Today, the country is grappling with very serious economic challenges. The financial sector in this country has inflicted so much harm, both on business, entrepreneurial uh, uh, activities, and the economy of this country. The CBN, from this motion, thanks to the new governor of the Central Bank, Mr. Kadesu, who has decided to speak out, and we heard him loud and clear on this very subject, where backlog of about $7 million has also carried in this motion paper, $2.4 billion were invalid claims. And if he had not done this, nobody knows. Maybe the former central bank governor would have paid everything and the country, country will continue to sink. I think that this motion is direct on point. And I believe that the CBN's bank examination department has failed this country over the years. I remember in 2018, in the 8th Senate, where illicit charges on customers was brought by Senator Benga Shafa to the Senate. Over charges, all kinds of uh, um, uh, bills are debited on the accounts of customers. Nobody will ever challenge them. And the bank examination department sometimes will go to the branches of these banks, sit for one week or two weeks, and give them clean reports and go away. They will be settled. We debated it and we argued it and condemned it. But it has not ended. Today, the bank will lend you money and come with all manners of charges, management fee, uh, 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 notification fee, all manners of things. The regulator, which is the CBN, ought to follow this line the CBN governor has come up with. Banks should be held very, very accountable. I'm happy that last week I told the mover of this motion, who is also the chairman of the Senate Committee on Capital Markets. I told him that so many things have been swept under the carpet in this country. We are aware that sometime between 2007 and 2009, there was a gale of public offers sanctioned by the um, uh, uh, Nigerian Stock Exchange. A lot of Nigerians were ripped off in that exercise. And after that exercise, all those institutions that came to the uh, Nigerian Stock Exchange to raise capital for business, all of them shut down the banks collapsed. Citizens of this country lost their money to these banks. They were flourishing banks at that time. Fake promotions were made, and citizens jumped in. They collected their monies, 
and the banks closed shop. Nobody is investigating them now. Some of the MDs have been jailed. I know that the MD of uh, Bank PhD, uh, Mr. Tuche, is in prison. But that does not solve the problem. What about the investors' money? The citizens put their money down, and they got nothing in return. So this one, I support an immediate investigation, because that will uh, bring a lot of uh, revelations. I'm happy that some moves are being made around now, so that with the ongoing uh, investigation of the former governor of the CBN, things we didn't know, we are beginning to see them. So this investigation is very timely to help us save this economy. The foreign exchange regime in Nigeria has been at the center of the economic crisis we have. Round tripping. You give somebody $2 million, he will not use it for anything. He will make marginal profit of sometimes two, 200 naira, 200 naira, 300 naira. Now that the dollar is 1,400 and something naira, you know what it means to hold $6 billion. The foreign exchange market is not funded. Banks are returning these monies, creating artificial scarcity in the system. And the citizens are choking. The economy is choking. We are all choking. So let's go to the root of this and take very hard actions that will make it a, a very un, unfashionable for any bank to engage in this type of uh, sabotage. Because this is clear sabotage of the economy. So I support it, and I believe that our colleagues will support it. During the investigation, even, even if it involves public hearing, I will appear in all the public hearings. We need to hear what is happening to Nigeria's economy. Thank you very much.